Joseph YouTube, welcome to the Coffee Pod. My name is Chishi Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Young daughter reveals to her father that she lost her virginity last night. What are your honest thoughts about this specific situation? No more wasting time. Let's get it. You okay? <laughs> What's going on, baby girl? Um, <laughs> well, I wanted to talk to you, Daddy. Okay, what's going on? I lost my virginity last night. I'm sorry. You what? I, you what? I lost my virginity last night. Nah, man. No, you didn't. Because my, my daughter respects herself. And she loves herself. And she can't... She she can't be that that, that foolish. You, 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 you pranking me. And that's why you recorded me. <laughs> God, man, you gotta stop doing that. Daddy, I'm not pranking you. I'm being serious. And I wanted to come and tell you first... I, I feel like we're getting pranked, right? Like I'm watching this, by the way, I watched this from the second part of this video and then I saw this first part, right? And I wasn't sure if it was fake, but you know, you guys comment down below. Let's keep watching. With who? With my boyfriend, with Jason. He's like, not Jason. Hey, this got to be one of her jokes. It was just Chris last week, and then you just wanted to move in with Eric. Stop, girl. Stop it. All right, it's getting old. Mm. It's getting old. You almost got me that time, though. Daddy, I'm being serious. I wanted to come tell you first. First person you should have told was God. Because not only, not only did you let him down, or not, long, not only did you let me and your mother down, you let him down. You are a princess of virtue. And now, and I hate to say it like this, but I'm gonna tell you from the world of, from the eyes of the world. Mm. And now, you just damaged goods, baby. You use Why goods. would you say something like that? And there, begins the controversy you guys know we have to check out these comments right people had a lot to say about this perspective video because apparently this is his real daughter right that's the confusing thing it's like is this is this a skit is this real let's keep watching i tell you why i would say something like this. i'm more than that do you hear how you think of yourself do you did you hear what you just said you're what more than that and that's all you should have been thinking and from now on guess what no one is going to look at that no one is going to look at you like that. No one is going to see your purity. All they're going to see is your impurity. You gave away your flower, baby girl. And I know I came off harsh, but I'm, again, I'm talking to you how the world sees you now. You're not innocent anymore. You might as well move out and go ahead and get your own spot. Mm. Since you're doing the dope stuff, that's what you want to do, right? Mm. Uh, guys, I have to say this. It's important that you caught what he said there about I'm talking to you the way the world will view you now that you've decided to sleep around, now that you decided to give your virginity away and if you continue to do this. And the fact that a daughter feels comfortable enough to go to her father and admit this shows some type of um, strong bond relationship. If you're a man out there and your daughter is willing to confide in you to this level, I think that's a good thing. But I'm also sensing a very real sense of like dose of reality that he's trying to get the daughter to look at her decision. What do you guys think? You think he's going about this the right way? One thing I will say is if there's any time that it's rare or if there's a woman out there who wants to be a virgin and it's not by, you know, because I've always said, you rarely find a virgin today who's actively just like, I'm not doing this by choice. It's not some type of like anxiety thing or she's not dealing with like 
um, you know, mental situations, but it's her choice and saving herself for a man. That's pretty rare. It's rare to find that today more than any other time. Let's keep watching. Now, I'm not here to scold you. I'm here to guide you. I'm here to love you, but I'm also here to tell you the truth. And we had an agreement. I know, but I'm 17 now, and I, I when when I made that agreement, I was younger. Sweetie, just because and I didn't know. you have a period, and you got some little breasts mm. and some hips and stuff that these little nasty behind boys looking at, that don't make you grown, and that damn sure don't make you a woman. You got your own house? No. You settle in your own career? No. Do you got your own car that but you I'm pay? Do you to... got your own car that you pay for? I got a car. But did you pay for it? No. And what about those Versace shoes that you're wearing? And that Christian Dior robe? Did you pay for that? No. Oh, but you're a woman, huh? So just because- That's it guys, that's where the video stops. And we're definitely gonna check out part two here shortly. There's a second part to this. I actually watched it backwards. I saw the second part and I was like, wait, it seems like it start off in the middle, but let's listen to what, let's talk about what just happened right there. You know, you have a father who sounds like he made an agreement with his daughter that she would save herself. And if I'm not mistaken, um, she would try to save herself up until she got a job or she was able to take care of herself to some degree is what it sounds like. Now I did hear him say, God, I'm assuming ideally, since he's coming like from a spiritual perspective, Christian perspective, he probably would like for his daughter to save herself till marriage. So that may have also been the agreement. I think we can all agree, right? Put put away your biases, especially to the women who, you know, the few that watch the coffee pod, I know they exist. Put away your biases. I think we can all agree, men and women, that when it comes to a woman, she gains nothing other than trauma and heartache from sleeping around. Now, are there women out there who are like, yeah, I enjoyed being a three or four and I don't regret it? Yeah, they are. But in most cases, most women, if you ask them, write down the list of men that you slept with, how many of those men, what percentage of those men actually deserved you giving them your body? I'd almost bet my life that the majority of those men, if not um, all of them, if that chick is single, maybe just one guy, you know, uh, that left an imprint, the one guy they can't get over, they wish they could have locked down, whether um, he still has her mind, etc. You guys know how it goes. They would think most of them don't deserve what they actually gave. And so I see this as a man who's trying to protect his daughter from horrible things happening to her mentally, physically, responsibilities that she may not be ready for. But in case I'm wrong, Let's check out these comments and see what the people have to say. First comment here says, Dad, talk to her about soul ties. <laughs> Guys, we got to stop. We got to stop these soul ties and um, zodiac signs and all these things that, that don't have any practicality to them. Practicality. Now, I will say this as somebody who's raised up Christian and somebody who believes in God. My belief is that everything that God wants for us that is good is motivated by him wanting what's best for us. Seeing as this guy brought um, God into the situation, I'm gonna talk about that. I believe the idea that God doesn't want women to give themselves to any man or uh, man to chase women and, and, and give his might to the power of a woman, right? To allow what's between uh, uh, any woman's legs to control his life, a lot of men do right and ruin his life that's all to protect you from the negativity that comes from making those decisions you don't live a healthy happy life when you're not thinking very carefully about the decisions you make listen i know most of us today aren't virgins but if we look back we could think back and say you know what i probably could have done without this experience with that person and so on and so forth so again practicality here soul ties all, all, all that soul tie shit, it just doesn't really make sense to me. Here's another comment from another person who says, harsh, but handled it like a real dad should to his daughter. So this man agrees with the way this father handled the situation. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Here's another comment from another woman that says, this is why children don't come to their parents. Oof. 
So we have a woman here who sounds like she doesn't like the way he handled this situation. She's like, this exactly the way he handled this is why women don't come to their parents because they will be judged. They will be judged. What do you guys think? Here's another comment from another person who says, tell the truth. Another commenter here says, how old is she? She's 17, she said that in the video. Here's another comment that says, I never reacted that calmly myself. So here's another comment from another guy that says, see what his intentions are, dot, dot, dot. Fill him out on this situation with the praying hands. Here's another comment from another woman who actually agreed when liked what she saw and she says respect another gentleman here says talk to her man lord save her i got a daughter myself excellent job in this conversation so we have a father here who agrees with his approach and our last thread of comments here starts off with a woman who says why is he shaming his daughter damaged goods she's recording him dot 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 wow that got 10 likes another person responded back to her and says that shame keep girls from being 304s, helps them be respectable women. Do you guys agree with that? Coffee. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Is there a level of shame that is healthy? What do you guys think? Comment down below. Here's another comment from another guy who added to this conversation and says, this is actually our last comment and says, before you start talking, look at the second part. That's women's problem, of course. He going to be upset. It's his effing daughter, he says. And so he's encouraging her to go watch the second part, which I actually think was the best part out of the two. Really good, actually. So don't miss it. And if you don't want to miss it, hit that like button. Make sure you're subscribed. Whatever you do on this video, like, comment, whatever, signifies to the algorithm to let them know to send you back for that second video. Listen, as always, curious to know what you guys think. Comment down below. I appreciate you for checking out another episode of coffee pot till next time i'm out peace